The Lord will come, and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, so that we may worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who command us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord, grant in your kindness, we pray, that no infirmity may weary us, as we long for the comforting presence of your heavenly physician, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and, his, and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting for the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Jesus says that his burden is light. There's a story of a man who once met a boy carrying a smaller, crippled boy on his back. That's a heavy load you're carrying there, exclaimed the man. He ain't heavy, he's my brother, responded the boy. No burden is too heavy when it is driven in, when it is given in love and carried in love. When we yoke our lives with Jesus, he also carries our burdens with us and he gives us the strength to follow his way of love. Friends, Jesus has promised to be with you, to hear you when you call out, and to wipe away every tear from your eyes, and to forgive your sins. He's promised to nourish you with his body and blood so that you can run and not grow weary, as we heard in Isaiah. But above all else, he has promised to love you always. You see, being yoked to Christ means that we can find blessings in our burdens. It means that no matter what, he's also yoked to you, and you aren't heavy to him. You're his brother, his sister. With one voice, let us offer our prayers to the Lord, who is gracious and merciful. We pray for all members of the church. May the grace of God continue to nourish and strengthen us. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world and in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all who struggle to provide food, shelter, education, or health care to their families. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those among us who suffer from physical ailments. May Jesus assure them of his presence and redeeming love in the midst of their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died. May the Lord Jesus lead them to a place of eternal rest and joy. And today we pray for Karen Franzone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And friends, we offer any intention which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we renew our strength in you and in your word as we place these needs before you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in, now, in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. 
open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened, make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at His command, and may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Bartholomew and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Praise the Lord. Grant in your kindness, we pray, that no infirmity may weary us as we long for the comforting presence of our heavenly physician, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you.